Hey everybody, Doug Rucker here with Doug Rucker School. Uh, I'm at PressureCleaningSchool.com, uh, also DougRuckerStore.com. Hey, this is a check valve I've been using that goes onto your downstream injector. Chris Gunther makes these. Um, I've been using these for probably eight months, almost a year and have not had a downstream injector fail yet. It also somehow, some way, I haven't asked Chris yet, but uh, our mix is just a little bit stronger. We use this same check valve on our five gallon per minute machine, on our eight gallon per minute machine, uh, whichever you use. And we also, you know, when we use have downstream injectors, we have five gallon per minute machines and we also have eight gallon per minute machines. We use this same injector. This is a 2.13 to five gallon per minute um, downstream injector. And we use these on both machines, either one. Uh, we actually find that our mix comes out stronger on the eight gallon per minute versus when we used to use the 2.3 five to eight gallon per minute injector. So. This is all we use, one injector for all of our uh, machines, whether it's five or eight, um, even using on our uh, 12 gallon per minute machine that we use. Um, I'm sorry, I think it's a 10 gallon per minute machine. Um, even use it on that and it works great. But back to the check valve, we, I, I worked a deal with Chris Gunter because I'm so impressed with these that we're gonna start selling them through the store and this is a check valve that simply replaces the barb on your uh, downstream injector and it also removes the ball and the spring which is the thing that causes uh, the part that causes downstream injectors to fail and so that's why I'm getting so much more time out of my downstream injectors. These we're going to sell for I think about 110 bucks that's without the downstream injector most guys have an injector. Um, and probably if you have one that went bad, you can probably refurbish it by sticking this on it. I haven't tried it on a bad one, but I don't, I don't know why it wouldn't work. But basically, um, you're gonna take your hose barb off here using the correct wrench. What did I just do with my little wrench? Ain't this great. Here it is. So you're gonna take a uh, half inch wrench take this off we got it started over there on the vise but I didn't loosen it enough so take your uh, hose barb off and then your ball and your spring will fall out and then all you have to do put a little Teflon tape around that screw this on the bottom of your injector Again, make sure you use Teflon tape on that. And then your quarter inch hose goes right here out to uh, your bleach tank. And again, always make sure the arrows on your downstream injector, that arrow means that that's the flow of the mix and the water that's gonna go. So your fittings, whether you're using a coupler or uh, a plug, your fittings need to be set up. Our, on ours, we always use the plug points the way of the water. So I just, all my guys automatically know that what these, where these arrows are pointing, the plug goes on that end. Some guys do it opposite. I, you know, I, I don't care which way you do it, but uh, so put your fittings on here and you're good to go. And this thing will last you forever. Um, like I say forever, I don't know if it'll last forever. I haven't used it forever yet, but I do know that I've gotten almost a year out of downstream injectors since I went to this. And uh, I think you'll like it. I think you'll be impressed. Well worth the money. Um, Cause man, downtime, that just absolutely can kill you on a job. And you know, the old saying was always have downstream, spare downstream injectors ready to go so you can pop another one in. And that's cool. You can do that. We used to do that too. But again, we have not had any issues with these downstream injectors going bad as quickly as they used to. So um, if you need one, we'll have them at the Doug Rucker store. 
www.thebrightlightsmovement.com. Hope that helps you guys. And thank you, Chris, for allowing us to be a distributor and carry these. We really do appreciate it. If you need a wash skid for the truck, man, that's where I got mine from. His are awesome. They're just an absolute piece of art. Um, I've been so happy with it. I've had it, I think, over a year now. But uh, you can get him. He's on Facebook. He's got a Facebook group called uh, or page called Wash Dash Skids or something like that. Um, or just contact Chris Gunther, G-U-N-T-H-E-R. Um, guy really knows his stuff and uh, very easy and fun to work with. So hope that helps you guys. Don't forget PressureCleaningSchool.com, DougRuckerStore.com. If you're new to the business, just starting out, I've got an online video school with over 200 videos on it. Um, right now, it's only $449. It's a lifetime, one-time membership fee. Y'all take care.